So tax and all was 3526. Yeah. All right, guys, just picked it up. Yeah, that's my cousin Brian. There's fag. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it runs smooth. Really impressed. So we're gonna go put gas in this. Uh, fire that little Ryobi handheld up, I guess. That's See how she runs. But. We got her back here to the house, got it all lit up. We've put about an hour on it. What do you think about it? I love it, man. Yeah, it's good, man. It's uh, we did a we did a lot of research on it. Uh, you know, he, my cousin there, he uh, he does a little, he does his research before yeah, we go jumping today, on stuff. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this thing drives like a dream. It does. It's, it does. People have been complaining and, and, and running their mouth and, and hating on it, talking about how bad the vibration is and how bad everything is on this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Adam both have drove it. And I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is very smooth. The steering is very, very easy. Yes. And it mows like a dream. Yeah, it's we not twitchy. Yeah, we can't show you all the yard right now. Yeah. We just did a little bit of testing and stuff like that to see how it did the lines. But the way it cuts the lines, very, very, very nice cut. Yeah. Nice. it's it, what, what I like about it compared to my, my old Cub Cadet is it's not twitchy. Like, my other one, you would just barely, like, if you got a bun, ran over a bunch of bumps or something, it would just kind of do this stuff, you know, kind of just, just jar you because the... the uh, the controls were so twitchy. These are very, very tight. Like, yeah. they're super tight. So, they're not real loose or floppy like it was on the old one. The RTZ, I think, is what it was. And I have to say this. We're different in sizes. And I think that's something that you can appreciate, guys. Everything on this thing is adjustable, especially when it comes to the mechanisms for steering. We got to hold up real quick. Who is that hot little piece of ass standing there behind you? <laughs> That's Adam's little baby dog named Sarah. She deals with this, but we try to behave. But, uh, but I will say, guys, uh, I know that this is considered a residential mower, but this man's been doing this stuff a long time, and he loves it. Hours and hours of video on there showing as proof so and we're gonna be sending a lot more video your way mm -hmm. uh now like i said the plan is uh to uh we we compare first of all i'm getting too far ahead of my story we compared this thing <laughs> to the uh we compared this thing to the errands and uh so there were a lot of differences between the errands what was it the icon 52 oh whatever. yeah yeah uh, there was a lot of compare we compared these head to head at Home Depot, and uh, the only thing I really see that Aaron's put a lot of thought into was the deck design and how they hung the deck on the on the mower itself. Oh yeah. Uh, a lot of the complaints that me and Brian seen online was how they said the deck moves a lot. The reason for that is because it is a floating deck. You can't compare a float something with a floating deck with a fixed deck, and that's what's on the Aaron's. The Aaron's is a fixed deck, so. The guy was like standing on the deck, and you can stand on this deck. You gotta get in close to it. And that's me standing on the deck. It's not floppy, but if you stand out here, you can move the deck, okay? But listen to it. It's Sounds solid. Pretty solid. Yes, okay? it is. So the deck is set up to move. So I ran this thing wide open across the backyard back here. I know the deck was moving, and there's nothing uneven out there. It looks really nice. Very okay. nice cut. Very nice cut. Uh, another thing that they really did all really well that I'm really impressed with this mower is the square tubing. It's a fully square tube frame. Yes, yeah, two front, inch by two inch all the way the around. Rear, yeah, all the way to the back. Uh, when we the first thing we did when we walked up to the errands, and I'm not cracking on the errands, guys. That looks like a really good mower. I'm it not is cracking on. We're kind of comparing apples to oranges right now. So, it's not like the, the I'm saying the errands is a piece of crap. If you got the errands in mind to get it, go ahead and get it. It's going to serve you well. Yep. 
but here's where we was kind of getting down to subtle differences between the the errands and the and the cub cadet uh when i when i lifted the seat up okay the seat would move side to side it was real floppy on real the real flimsy and i could literally take it and just warp the seat back and forth yeah. the seat mount or the plate or whatever this one does not move much anyways uh another thing all the faces to your controls down here and up here all that's metal uh the where it went around the back, the, the engine guard on the back of the uh, errands, you could take and twist this, and this whole thing here would move. Oh, yeah, definitely. That stuff matters, guys. I know you're thinking, well, it, it just rides there, but it doesn't because a lot of times, and you can ask my buddy Adam, when you got guys running your mowers and they back up into something, they crush that back there. It's going to knock all this out of whack right here. So you need that stuff to be strong. And, and you're not uh, going to do that with that right there. No, you're not. You ain't, if you've been that, you need to just go to the house. Uh, <laughs> but the casters seem pretty, they seem sufficient. Uh, the construction part of it is good, but this up here is, is sufficient enough. Uh, I don't really know how big the shaft is. I do know we need to grease the, uh, the, 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 the casters. They're, it's kind of got a little bit of a squeak to it. Uh, so we'll have to get in there and grease those fittings up. But, other than that, it cuts really good. This is not a review on this. It's just kind of our overlook of the mower. Yeah, general uh, overview. We'll go through differences. I like to put another five or six hours on it before we uh, do a full review on it. But, you know, this fits in our budget. Uh, you know, we kind of, we were going to, we were thinking about buying used stuff, but it's kind of nice hitting the season this year and having newer equipment, even though it is a residential mower. Guys, we're kind of moving away with Cub Cadet and Aaron's and you know a lot of these other manufacturers, uh, they are really putting a lot into these mowers. Uh, I mean, by looking at this mower, I, I would probably compare that, I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this, but I would probably pretty closely compare this to like a Skag Patriot or a uh, the Ferris 6000, uh, something like that. And those are like $6,000 mowers. Yeah. Okay. Half the so price here. This is half of the yeah. price. Yeah. It's got a good Kawasaki on it. Yeah. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to run you a long time, guys. Absolutely. So I wouldn't go buy one of these if I had the schools again. I would I would go buy a 60 inch, though. Oh, yeah. I'd go buy the one with the rollover and all that stuff. Sure. But it seems like a good mower. So. Uh, we'll find out, yep. I mean, guys. You, you, if you're not subscribed to me, this we have hours upon hours of videos uh, of us showing me mowing with the biggest piece of crap cooking that you ever seen mowing <laughs> acreage of land. So, but anyways, uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and keep mowing. Never stop.